Today, I'm here to talk about. Oh, first of all, well, welcome. Forgot to welcome you to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about a, a book which I've read. I think it was the first book I ever read when I wanted to pursue accumulating wealth. Yeah, it's yeah, it's I read it a long time ago and I also just read it recently and the book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hills so yeah it's a good book it's a self-help book great book it has some simple concepts in it about how to I would say to focus to get a focus and focus towards achieving your goals so I'll be sharing about 10 lessons I've learned from the book yeah, so without any delays, let's get into it. The book, the first lesson that the book teaches you is the power of thoughts. How important to be intentional about what you put in your head, what you think about. For instance, if you want to achieve a goal, and there's a quote that says, I don't remember the, the person who says it, but it goes, uh, whether you think you can, or you think you can't either way you write so it's all in the mind if you think you can do something then you probably will be able to do it but if you think you don't you won't be able to do it you most probably won't be able to do it so the book yeah that's the first lesson that the book teaches you to focus your thoughts and be intentional on what you think about lesson number two is is definite is it a definiteness of purpose you need to to define your purpose you need to be sure what you want be be definite about your purpose and just go after it you can you can't be too minded about what you want to achieve you need to say this is my purpose I'm going to do this and this is why I'm doing it because I want to achieve this one two three so yeah Definite of papers. The second lesson. The third lesson is the mastermind uh, principle. The book also teaches you that it's important if you want to achieve a goal to to accommodate yourself with like-minded people. Have a mastermind group, or if you don't have a mastermind group, like people who think like you, try to read books of people who you think are in the same thoughts as you that people who think the same way just learn from them even create imaginary people a round table just create a round table in your mind in your mind and just have people sitting in that round table and just create your mind group and just draw thoughts from those people just think if so and so let's say maybe you want to have robert einstein in your mastermind group or who, whoever who's famous or let's say more most recent people like elon musk you can just have them in your round table in your mind and just draw thoughts from them and just think if i were elon musk how would i think how would i move how would i do things so it's very important to have a mastermind group if you want to achieve your goals a mastermind group helps you think clearly helps you focus on your goals and it helps you question whatever your motives are or things that you are not sure about you'll think if i were sorry how would they approach this and and so on so a mastermind group is very important the book has a whole chapter i think on mastermind group on the mastermind group and then the next lesson is to be persistent the book drives also has a chapter about being persistent not giving up although even when you don't see the results but keep on pushing because persistence action persistent action accumulates it's like compound 
it's like compound interest it compounds your efforts compounds over a long time for instance if i can make an example if you want to be a bodybuilder and then you just like doing your exercises you won't see you any improvement any body improvement or muscles for the first maybe two weeks three weeks or four weeks but the more you do it the more you it will be visible because it compounds it increases it, it it accumulates on top of each other the next thing in a couple of months you'll see the next thing you'll be in the shower and you're trying to take a bath and you'll be feeling muscles where there were no muscles and you'll be surprised oh i didn't know i had muscles yeah so it's something like that so persistent be persistent with what you want to achieve and then the another lesson i think that's lesson number five now we are on lesson number five it's the power of belief this is very important it's the same it's the same quote it, it's more or less as the same quote as i said in the beginning if you think you can then you can if you think you can't then you won't so you need to believe you need to believe you you are capable of doing what you want to do you need to believe in yourself it's very important to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself then no one else would believe in yourself but the more you believe in yourself and the people around you see that you believe in yourself also other people start believing in you and then it becomes easy to get support and people try to help you to achieve your goals so believing in yourself believing you can achieve the goals you want to achieve is very important the book emphasizes on that and then lesson number six it goes into the role of imagination imagination is important to achieve great things you need to your imagination needs to run wild just imagine the most impossible thing and just try to make it come true and that that's just try each and every day to work towards uh, what you want to achieve imagination is important without imagination most of the things in the world will not exist the camera that i'm using to video this video to do this video wouldn't be possible if someone didn't imagine it in their mind that they could build the camera the table the chair everything you need to imagine it was first it existed in someone's mind they imagined it and then they took steps to making the imagination a reality into the physical world so imagination is very important and then and another lesson the book dives into is specialization of knowledge you need to know how to get specific knowledge if you know you need a certain knowledge you need to know where to go to to get that knowledge or who to go to to get that knowledge which book to read to get that knowledge so specialization of knowledge is very important because without knowledge you cannot move forward no matter how much you want to achieve your goals if you do not go after the, the, the knowledge it is that's needed to achieve whatever you want to achieve you're not going to be able to achieve it I don't know whether I make sense with that yeah but yeah you need to find specialized knowledge if you want to go in the field of maybe creating an app you need to seek specialists in that category or in that industry Kaya app developers and IT specialists and all that stuff so special specialization of information is very important okay i think we are on lesson number eight the subconscious mind it it the book dives in it dives in it has i think it has a chapter a whole chapter of the subconscious mind how important is your subconscious mind and how important to be intentional about what you put in your subconscious mind 
because the subconscious mind works even when the conscious mind is, is not active your subconscious mind works even when you are asleep i think most of the times that's where your dreams come from your subconscious mind because you are sleeping but your mind is still active and if you constantly think about something then your subconscious mind will drive you toward achieving what you are constantly thinking of i don't know who said this but the quote goes we are what we think or we are our thoughts meaning whatever we constantly or we are I, i'm not sure about the, the quote so i'm not going to paraphrase it paraphrase it but it says whatever you constantly think about you you create so if something is constantly in your mind your body your movement your actions will always move towards making the thing a reality so yeah your subconscious mind it, it's very important to to control what goes in there because it operates even when your conscious mind is not operating it's not active and then i think we are on lesson number 10 the lesson number 10 dives into decisiveness be decisive with your decisions is that correct be decisive with your decisions i think so <laughs> okay you need to be able to make decisions and stick by them and sometimes you need to make these decisions quick so that you are able to progress sometimes you need to stick to your decisions even when you feel like it's not working out obviously you need to change approaches every now and then they say uh, change the approach but stay focused on the goal if one way doesn't work then you you need to take a decision and say okay i'm changing now I'm, I'm using this strategy if the strategy is not and you see you've given it enough time and it's not working out you need to take a decision to change that strategy so decisiveness is very important in achieving your goals so yeah the books also delves into decision making and all that stuff and then the last lesson i think i learned from the book is the power of giving after you've achieved your goals whether it's money or whether whatever you want to achieve it is important to to share whatever whether it's food whatever whether it's money but giving to charity is one of the most important thing because they say the more you give the more you receive so it's very important even in the bible it's written you need to give 10 percent to the church that's what they say 10 percent to the church and then they also say you need to give 10 percent to the homeless and poor and yeah so yeah you need to give once you've achieved success a level of success you need to give some of it away try to build maybe to a church or whatever or try to build a homeless shelter or just a charity fund give away food on christmas whatever do whatever but giving is part of achieving your goals because the more you give the more you will receive because the universe sees that you are not selfish it, it you are helping other unfortunate people so yeah those are the 10 things I've learned from the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hills. If you want to get the book, just click on the link below. I think it, it should take you to Amazon. You can get the book there. There's a PDF, there's a hard copy. So yeah, you can read the book there. It's a great book to read. If And I think it's about 300 pages. 300 or more around there it's not a long book you can literally take about a week to finish it or two weeks if you are a slow reader like me so yeah thank you for tuning in guys if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit that like button 
subscribe to the channel turn on the notification so that you do not miss any videos that i post this is about my life journey from i do i post almost i think twice a week i post about my gym sessions i post about books i am reading i post about basically my life things that i want to share with you guys and my progress anyway i think i'm digressing now peace i'm out until the next video